The US and Japan utilize different approaches in the development of their fighters. However, both countries pay the majority of their attention to the development of technology and industrial base. Additionally, being able to confront the growing threat of future Russian and Chinese sixth-generation fighters has become the number one goal for the aviation field within the land of the rising sun. It is precisely this which led to the appearance of the national stealth fighter Mitsubishi FX. The craft will be examining in today's video. Plans for the sixth generation Mitsubishi FX or F3 stealth fighter began shortly after the US banned the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor from being exported to its allies under the Obey Amendment. One of the congressmen, David Obi, was extremely concerned that some of the secret technologies used to create the legendary F-22 might be discovered and adapted by enemies if the US began exporting airframes. First off, he was concerned about the possible leakage of data on the unique stealth characteristics of the fighter. Therefore, in 1998, he introduced an amendment to the 1998 Ministry of Defense Appropriations Act. It was only one sentence long and stated that no funds made available under this act may be used to approve or license the sale of the F-22 advanced tactical fighter to any foreign government. Since Japan could not replace its aging fleet with new F-22s, the authorities decided to create a new domestically designed fighter. Thus, from 2009 to 2010, the Japanese Ministry of Defense conducted a study to develop a replacement for the Mitsubishi F-2, having come to the conclusion that the country needed a jet fighter that was ahead of modern fifth-generation fighters. The concept was named I-3 Fighter, Informed, Intelligent, Instantaneous. The range of FX's intended capabilities included using advanced radar systems to counter enemy fighter stealth technologies, obtaining information about targets from other platforms such as fighters, drones, and airborne early warning and control aircraft, using the flyby optics system as in the Kawasaki P-1, which allows the use of optics instead of wired communication and provides faster data transfer, lighter weight, and immunity to electromagnetic interference, stealth technology, gallium nitride semiconductors to improve radar performance, more powerful engine. According to some sources, the fighter received its formidable, albeit not official, nickname Godzilla from Aviation Week journalist Bradley Parrott due to its dimensions having exceeded those of the American F-22. In this regard, experts suggested that the aircraft would have a greater carrying capacity and flight range. Not long after, the confidence in these predictions was only confirmed by a statement from the Japanese Minister of Defense, Taro Kono, who said that the FX would carry more missiles than the American F-35. The FX has left its predecessors far behind by replacing traditional hydraulic systems with electric drives. The reason for choosing such drives, according to the Japanese Ministry of Defense, was the complexity of the interior design of the new stealth fighter. When introducing the stealth function of the aircraft, it was necessary to take into account the internal weapons bay and air intakes. But when installing the pipelines of the hydraulic system, due to their rigidity and length, problems arose, after which, for design reasons, they were replaced with electric drives, thus eliminating restrictions by connecting drives through electrical wiring. This also had a positive effect on the flexibility in designing the body of the future fighter, reducing the weight of its hull, and increasing the mobility of the aircraft. To keep the whole design light, the FX implemented several different technologies and design methods. One was to reduce and eliminate the use of fasteners through adhesive casting, which involves bonding composite materials. This technology was called Integrated Fastenerless Structure. The Mitsubishi F3's predecessor, the F2, also used integral casting and CFRP to save weight, but the casting technology was only applied to the lower wing plates. In FX, the idea was significantly expanded by applying carbon fiber and adhesive molding to the entire fuselage. According to experts, the introduction of new methods will reduce the mass of the airframe by 11.6% and reduce the number of working hours above the fighter's body by 66% as compared to previously used methods. A heat shield was used around the engine allowing the use of aluminum alloys and carbon fiber reinforced polymer CFRP, to reduce the weight of the aircraft. As for the engines themselves, the FX boasts two XF9s from the Japanese company IHI adapted to a wide range of thrust levels depending on the requirements of the particular aircraft. The maximum estimated thrust is 196 knots, or 44,000 IBF, and the combustion temperature was marked at 3,272 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1,800 degrees Celsius. It's worth noting that the XF9 has a high power of 180 kilowatts, or 360 kilowatts in the FX, due to the use of two of these engines at once. Both XF9s are equipped with 3D thrust vectoring nozzles capable of deflecting thrust up to 20 degrees, thereby increasing the fighter's maneuverability and reducing its visibility to hostile enemies. But even if the Japanese fighter seems capable of competing with the power of FCAS, the engine for which is being developed by Safran aircraft engines with MTU aero engines, then in the event of a fight with a Russian MiG-41, it will still have to rely primarily on the stealth function. After all, according to statements made by the general director of the RAC MiG, the speed of the fighter interceptor will reach somewhere around Mach 4 to 4.3, 
which is noticeably more than its predecessor, the MiG-31, which accelerates up to Mach 2.8. The latest avionics on board generate a lot of heat. In order to handle this, the FX installed a special heat transfer system that assists with air circulation and a liquid cooling system. The highly efficient and highly accurate structural analysis methods used for FX include the creation of models using FEM, or Finite Element Method, and CAD, computer-aided design, as well as the study and formation of stress test standards for future prototypes. To improve the detection of enemy stealth aircraft, the F-3 uses built-in sensors including AESA, a passive radio frequency RF sensor, and an infrared camera. AESA and RF radar both use the previously mentioned gallium nitride to improve their performance. AESA itself is based on the JAPJ-2 radar of the Mitsubishi F-2 and is similar to the AN-APG-81 radar found in the F-35. The FX-RF self-defense system for aircraft, air-to-air -air and surface-to-air threats includes both ESM and ECM, capable of alerting the threat and jamming the enemy communication system. Furthermore, electronic warfare antennas built into the body are placed along the wings of the aircraft and its tail. The cockpit also received new features, including a helmet-mounted display with a wide field of view, a binocular multicolor display, voice recognition, and 3D sound. One of the main tasks in the development of the sixth-generation Japanese fighter was its stealth. To keep radar cross-section to a minimum, the vehicle's physical structure is equipped with serpentine air ducts in an internal weapons bay, and electromagnetic wave absorbers are installed in air ducts and engines to reduce radar reflections. According to some reports, the absorbers are made of a carbon-based material, and the results of their tests have shown that thanks to the installation, the probability of an aircraft being detected by an enemy is reduced by about half. To reflect radio waves when creating the sixth-generation fighter, metamaterials were used consisting of small pieces of metal and dielectrics. They are an important part of the pulsed Doppler system used on board the FX. To complement all this, there are sensor programs that control the radiation in such a way as to minimize the likelihood of oncoming detection by the enemy at the time of radiation emanating from the F-3 radars. Also, one cannot go without mentioning the plasma stealth technology used to refract radio waves. The issue of weapons has always been an edge for Mitsubishi engineers, especially against the background of future sixth-generation fighters and in the face of the Russian MiG-41 and the European FCAS, Future Combat Air System Project. Therefore, plans were made to equip the new F-3 with a microwave weapon capable of shooting down any approaching missiles. The latter will be activated from the AESA radar through the use of electron tube amplifiers, successfully combining small dimensions and high efficiency. The use of microwaves as a defensive weapon makes the FX related to the FCAS 6th generation fighter project, which is set to be equipped with a directed energy weapon using microwave systems and lasers. Russia, in turn, has not yet disclosed its intentions regarding the use of laser weapons in the framework of the MiG-41 program. In addition to microwave weapons, Japan has developed new ASM-3 supersonic anti-ship missiles specifically for the Mitsubishi F-2 successor. At the same time, the Russian Federation stated that the main weapon of their MiG-41 interceptor will be the R-37M air-to-air missile, which has a range of more than 186 miles. By the time the aircraft is ready, even more long-range weapons may appear, such as a KS-172 missile, which can hit a target at a distance of 248 miles. As for the FCAS, there is no data on its possible weapons. In their press releases and interviews with the media, representatives of the participating countries focus mainly on the method of swarming drones for reconnaissance and strike missions, as well as the automation of all fighter systems. The F-3 will also gain support from drones as an additional futuristic feature that will act as a trusted wingman. Two variants of drones were prepared for the FX. One is a sensor carrier and acts as a reconnaissance asset. The other shoots ammunition and can divert the attention of missiles approaching the fighter to itself. Both versions of the drones have a similar design and their development is planned to be fully completed by 2030. Russia, while developing the MiG-41, decided to focus its efforts not so much on the use of drones, but on the creation of an unmanned version of the aircraft, placing the control center in a safe place and thereby reducing the potential threat to the lives of pilots. The development of FX is designed to revive the country's defense and aerospace industries as well as to strengthen its position in the international arms market. In East Asia, FX will allow Japan to keep up with China and South Korea in the pursuit of stealth fighters. But the land of the rising sun should also discount the increased military activity of Russia, since the MiG-41 fighter interceptor, according to its creators, will be capable of conducting combat missions even in the harsh conditions of the Arctic and near space, thus becoming the first space fighter. But experts agree that for the time being, Russia cannot afford the creation of the latest MiG-41 and would rather place its hope in the Su-57s. While modernizing the MiG-31 fleet as opposed to spending more than $60 billion on the sixth-generation fighter program,
As for FCAS, this project is likely to be long-term. Due to the number of contractors involved from different countries and the differences in their views on the final concept, there is no chance that the real capabilities of the device will be significantly lower than the expectations of its team of creators. Britain, meanwhile, is seeking to draw the attention of its Japanese allies to the Tempest team. Earlier, there were even calls to merge this program with FCAS. As a result, they actively share confidential technical information with Japanese colleagues. However, Japan remains firmly confident in its efforts to create a domestic fighter, politely accepting funds and assistance from allies and specialists from other countries, but not seeking to share with them the exhaustive details of the production processes. So what do you think? Will Japan succeed in creating a sixth generation fighter on its own? Can it make do without outside help? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video enjoyable, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content just like today's. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.